Okay, folks, listen, this is one of the little bit uh, that's going to be special to me. For those of you guys who have been following the channel for a minute, you know that I really like to do that bacon too, right? But a lot of people are not going to look up a channel called Smoking and Grilling with AB and then try to look up a cheesecake. You know that's what I'm true. saying? That's true. Absolutely. So listen, I sprinkle it in whenever I can, and I got a guest right here. Check this out. This man right here, as you can see, Robert's Cheesecakes. Hey, listen, he knows what he's doing, and I asked him to come here and uh, get down and like show me how to make these cheesecakes properly. Right? Listen, I'm not finna over talk it. I'm gonna let him do a little introduction. Go ahead and talk to him. What's going on, everybody? So, my name is Robert. I live in Dallas, Texas, and I met this guy on my flight one day from Bozeman, Montana. Right. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. I was shocked. Right. right you know. Right. So anyway, we got to talking. And I showed him what I do. And he was like, you know what? Why don't you be a guest on my channel? I said, okay, no problem. So I'm here now and I'm gonna show y'all how to make a caramel cinnamon crumble cheesecake. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, Robert, look. I don't, you know what? I, I really don't wanna over talk, really. I'm here to be your sous chef and to learn, right? Okay. So listen, tell us the first thing we're gonna do. And then uh, don't have me standing by here looking like no bump on the log. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I do know how to measure. Absolutely. You right. sure do. I'm gonna let you do your thing <laughs> too. So listen, this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> Before you make a cheesecake, you wanna make sure that you line the bottom of your spring form pan with parchment paper, okay? Right. And why you wanna do that is it's gonna make it very easy for you to remove your cheesecake from the bottom of the pan once your cheesecake is done, okay? All right, so so talk to me. So listen, I'll pull this out right here because he said we got some, what do we do with the crumbs? Okay, so these are what? So these are just cookies right here that we're gonna make for our crust. You can make your cookie crust out of any kind of cookie you want. Graham cracker, Oreo, it really doesn't matter. All you need is a good cookie and some butter Maybe some sugar, depending on how well or how sweet you want your crust to be. So AB, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you crush these cookies okay. so we can make our crumb. Got it. Now, again, look, you had me bring out my food processor, right? What happens if everybody don't have that? Man, they gotta have that option. So if you don't have a food processor, what you can do is you can just put your cookies inside of a Ziploc bag and you can just smash it Pow, 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 whatever you have. Like if you have like a, um, what, what do they call it? Um, a rolling pin? Yeah. A rolling pin. You can use pin, one of right those, right. just hit hey, it. Meat tenderizer. Yes, you, you know can what use mean? that. I got one for you that everybody okay. got. Hey, the bottom of a can. There you go, exactly. Meanwhile. All right, folks, look, ain't nobody trying to do no trickery, right? Look, and now I'm on this side, he on that side. He got the melted butter, I'm over here, right? So what I'm gonna do is use the uh, food processor. You know what I mean? Put this over here, close that. Now, you just want me to post this just until, uh, what, till it gets like all of, like that fine? Till this like, till this like sand. You want your gotcha. crust to be like sand. Gotcha. Yeah. Nice and fine. Gotcha. Now, take a look. <clears throat> that's it right there. Yeah, that's perfect right that there. That look like Miami Beach. That's right, there you go. Right. Perfect. So I'm gonna take the crust, the cookie crumbs for the crust, put it inside of a bowl, okay? Make sure you get all of the crust out of there. All right. All right. Right here, I have half a stick of butter right here. Or half a cup of butter, I should say. I doubt if I'm going to use it all, so I'm just going to add a little bit of butter at a time. So this is like the binder and the paste that hold it together. So Absolutely. When you put it in the bottom That's of here. That's right. This is the crust right here. Gotcha. The crumbs and everything, now we're going to start out with crust. Okay. Use it all up. You don't want to leave anything extra behind. You know what I mean? Because this is a lot of goodness right here, okay? All right. And then what you do is you take your hands. You see we have our gloves on, okay? And what you want to do is you want to take your hands, or your hand, I should say, because you're just going to use one. And you can use your fist, but you want to make sure that you get your crust all the way down in the bottom and it's nice and even. And from the way it looks right now, we are good to go. So the next step is you want to put your spring form pan in the oven at 350 degrees for about four minutes or so. Right. Not too long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start right now. You say 350? Yeah. Hit start. There we go. Let me turn this light on. All right. So I'm going to set this off to the side. What else can we do? Okay. So now that we're done with that, we're going to get started with our cheesecake batter. Okay, so we're making an eight inch cheesecake. So therefore, for an eight inch cheesecake, you need about three blocks of cream cheese. 
and it could be any kind of cream cheese that you wanna use. Brand doesn't really matter, okay? Okay, so we're gonna start now and we're gonna take our cream cheese out of the packet. AB, if you want to, there you go. Hmm. See teamwork, you teamwork, know? Right. Teamwork is the best. And I'm gonna put it at, I'm gonna put it at two. Let it go slowly, okay? For about a minute or two, and then I'm gonna increase my speed to four. So we're gonna increase the speed to four. And now that the cream cheese is starting to mix up together and everything, we wanna start adding our ingredients. All right, so AB's gonna go get us a cup of sugar and we're gonna to add to our, our cream cheese, okay? Now one thing I know about when it comes to bacon, when they say one cup, they mean one cup, not a heaping yes. or nothing like that. So yes. start adding. Yep, go ahead. All right. Perfect. And then you know what? I'll go ahead and I'll increase the speed by one. And as you can see now, now that the sugar is added to the cream cheese, see how smooth it's getting and the consistency? So now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a tablespoon of vanilla. All right. And I'm gonna decrease my speed because I don't want the vanilla to go all over the place. You see how smooth it's getting? Yes. Okay. So now what we want to do now is we want to add our sour cream. Sour cream, right? So what is this right here? This is uh, eight ounces. Eight ounces. All right. So for this, I'm going to stop the mixer and we're going to add the sour cream to it. Go. Because again, we don't want to make any messes. Okay, just so that I'm, I'm going to go ahead and add these eggs, right? So that I'm not just standing around. Uh -huh. I can go ahead. Okay. I can go ahead while you over there. Yeah, don't trip. <laughs> So listen, we just want one egg, right? One egg, one at, a egg at a time. At a time. Boom. Let me bring it around here so everybody can see. All right. We'll open it up like that. There you go. Get it all. You know what? To be honest with you, I'm gonna let you do it. You know why? You're closer to the trash can. Okay. And then we don't want to get no egg shell in there. No, we don't. So go ahead. And I'm just gonna increase our speed just a little. That looks. That's looking good right there. Okay, so now that you got that done, you've already scraped. We got eggs on the inside, right? Sure I do. I don't know if they heard already, but listen, the uh, oven is up to temp, right? 350 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and stick this spring form in pan inside of here with the crust. And we just go in what, three or four minutes? Three or four minutes, that's all you need. All right, so look, as he cleans off the paddle and puts everything inside the bowl, right? We're gonna remove that. And what we're gonna get ready to do is make our caramel. Okay, folks, look, the timer just went off, right? We only did four minutes, so you know it ain't gonna be in it ever. That's it, just four. You know what I mean? Pull this out so you guys can look at it and see how it is right there, right? All right, so listen, you guys can see that we did a little bit of uh, arranging, you know what I mean, rearranging, right? Just so that we can uh, have some room to cook, right? So we're getting ready to make the caramel, right? He just asked me right now, hey, do you know what you're doing when it comes to making caramel? <laughs> I told him I do. But the thing is, he wanted me to take, you know, some uh, heavy whipping cream and put it inside of the microwave to get it hot. I'm gonna let him explain why he does that as I take this butter and I start to get it to melt. Okay, so basically the reason why you wanna do that is you don't wanna mix hot and cold together. If you add cold, heavy cream to your melted sugar that's already hot, it's gonna seize up on you, you don't want that. It's gonna be like candy. I okay, say, so how they make candy when they yeah, we, we don't want candy, we want caramel. Okay, so look, butter's melted. I got a nice heat on it. It's just now starting to like boil. Just a little bit, okay, right? Okay, okay. All right, so you say. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna start adding, incorporating this in. There you go. All right, man, uh, I see what you did, man. I like the process, you know, the white sugar. I told you I start with the brown, but now I know what to do it. I can do it either or. That's right. Right? Right, absolutely. Oh, so yeah. now what we're going to do, now that we have our um, melted butter and our melted sugar, and it's a nice amber color, we're going to add our heavy cream to slowly. Okay, so look, if you guys pay attention, look right here. This is what we came up with. We actually, listen, if you guys got some chunks in the inside, use a strainer. I got a strainer that I use, you know, to get anything that didn't melt, right? We put it in this bowl. And I noticed that you put some caramel in here. I did, wow. so I added a little bit of caramel to a cup. It doesn't really matter how much you use. 
Well, it really does. You don't want to use too much, but you want to use just enough, okay? So I'm going to add just a little bit to my cheesecake batter, slowly, because again, I don't want the caramel all over the place. Okay, look, so now, I know we coming down to the end now, right? Yes, we are, finally. So listen, I'm gonna put a bowl right here. Yes, you did. And the way you explain it is we're gonna pour a little bit of this. Yes. In the here. Yes, we so are. So go ahead and do that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of our cheesecake batter to this bowl, okay? And I think that should be enough right there, okay? Because I like to give my, my cheesecakes presentation and I like to give them color. And because we're making a caramel cinnamon crumble cheesecake, we're gonna use brown food coloring. So you guys can see this is just, pick this up at your grocery store. You know what I mean, just brown food coloring, right? Yeah. So you said, uh-oh, is that good? Just a, just a little less than that. Okay, okay. Yeah. We baking, y'all. Yeah, a little less ain't than no, that. Ain't nobody doing no heaping, nothing. Ah, there you go, that's perfect okay. right there. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. I see why you was like, hey, dude. Yeah, you gotta add some character, you know what I mean? Right, but you was like, don't put that heat in, because <laughs> it'd be too dark. <laughs> you take your butter, school. and you just go around the sides. All we gotta do at this point is just wrap it up in some foil. Okay. Now it's time to fill up the pan okay. with the cheesecake batter, okay? All right. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of that. Okay. So I noticed you didn't put all of it in there. You nope, because we're gonna do a layer of white and a layer of brown until we get to the top, okay? Okay. Just like that. Hey, let me do something, man. Sure, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, Granny, let I, me do something. I appreciate something. you. I appreciate you. <laughs> That's how my grandma You can come to my kitchen and bake anytime <laughs> if you wanted to, honestly. <laughs> okay, look, so, look, I'm just putting this right on top. No kind of pattern or nothing? No, mm, just put it on top. Okay. <laughs> okay, look. I keep laughing, man, because I'm looking at the pattern I have. <laughs> I mean, hey, you say it's okay, so show me the... Look. Make it right, man. You don't really need a particular pattern. Just take a little toothpick or whatever. And you can make any kind of pattern you want, okay? Uh, you know what? That's kind of like, man. Just man, like so. It just make, it make and sense. it really don't make a difference. Just, you know... Blend in the colors nicely, you know, nice and even. All right, so we're gonna put our cheesecake inside this pan right here, and all we're right. gonna get some water. All right. And, and how, um, okay, so we're gonna fill this obviously with water. Not all right? the way to the top, not at all. How far do you wanna you go? You don't need a whole lot of water, so you probably need about that much water. All right, so. Okay. Okay, slowly. Slide, that's enough. Oh, so we weren't even talking really like halfway. No, just, just like, doing like, your whole like, lot. We're gonna put our cheesecake in the oven for two hours, okay? We're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for the first 10 minutes, and then we're gonna drop our temperature down to 275 for an hour and 50 minutes. Okay. So right now, we're gonna do the cinnamon crumble, okay? Right. It's very easy to make and it's delicious. All right, folks, now listen, for the sake of uh, the, the time of the video, listen, instead of going in the oven and baking for three hours and then chilling it for uh, five, right? What we, did, what we did was, or actually what he did was, he went ahead and brought one already ready to go. This has been in the refrigerator, but if you guys look behind it, I just turned the light off, that's still in the oven right now going, right? So, I promise you it's worth it. Listen, you guys gonna wanna make one of these, you know what I mean? But this will get you in the ballpark. Now, I'm gonna let you take over and you know, you say whatever it is. Okay, there. so what we wanna do now is. This is uncharted territory. Right, 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 right. So I'm gonna have AB add the caramel that we made earlier, just a little bit to the top of the cake, right? Okay. Okay, so. Yeah, look, have... I, I have a tendency to put too much of everything on the top. Mm -hmm. So listen, you tell me when to stop. I'm gonna tell you when to stop. Right. Go ahead, go ahead. You know what? Before I do that, <laughs> let me do this. Because you keep saying I'm OCD. About, you know, no, stuff. I, I'm stuff. OCD too. I'm not mad okay. at you. I'm all not. Right. Okay. All right. So you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Right. Am I all over or just in the middle? Just in the middle. Okay. Slowly. Keep going. Stop. All right. Now what you want to do is you want to take the pan and just kind of move it around until you get the caramel, you know, pretty much on the top of the whole cake. 
Okay. All right, so now that you... Look at me, folks. Nicely glazed this cheesecake with caramel sauce, I'm gonna take these cinnamon crumbs and I'm gonna put them all around this cake right here. Okay? Now you've done this before. Of course, I got, I got skills. I got experience here. And the AB don't have a fit because, you know, um, I missed the spring form pan a couple of times, so we got a little bit of crumbs over here. No, that's all good. Okay, okay. But we made it on the board, so we good. Okay, okay. Add a little more right here, okay? Perfect. So now at this point, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this back in the refrigerator for about 20 to 25 minutes. Whipped cream. Whipped cream, okay. Simple. Simple. Do not buy another container of Cool Whip, please. Please, please don't, because listen, please I'm so don't. tired of him talking to me, asking me that I make strawberry shortcake. Yes, I did, and yes, I did use the can. But listen, I got it. I'm, I'm gonna follow your, your, uh, your direction to the T. Don't need it. All you need is some heavy cream. Okay. Simple. Okay, so we have our heavy cream inside the bowl. The mixer is locked. I'm gonna turn it on to about four. Okay. And I'm gonna just let the mixer do its thing for a couple of minutes and then after that, I'm gonna add my vanilla extract, okay? And being that this is like a squeeze bottle, I'll probably add about maybe two or three pumps to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so you say powdered sugar, right? Yeah, go ahead and add and and see. Now you know I you, know he's yeah. about to die right now yeah, because look yeah. at this mess he made. Yeah, 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 you're right. He made. Okay, so look, <laughs> this is a half a cup. <laughs> go ahead and put that in there. Okay, we'll start with that. Yeah, go ahead. We're gonna start off with a half a cup. Okay. And there's no real is there's no exact measurements to this, you know. You just have to make your whipped cream to your taste buds, whether or not you like it creamy, or if you like it, you know, more on the milky side, it really all depends. Oh, okay, you looking at me. Let's right? just finish this cake, come on y'all. We're gonna do the whipped cream and add these cookies to the top and we're gonna eat. Okay. Cause we waited all day for this. Okay. I can tell by your body language right now, you like doing what you're doing right here. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, it's a lot of fun. It's therapeutic, you know. The people like it, you know. All right, there we go. Then we just gonna add some cookies to the top and we gonna cut this cake and we gonna enjoy it. Turn this around. Oh yeah, that's a lazy Susan, man. You ain't got to be reaching all over. <laughs> all right, fam, look, ain't nothing left, nothing else <laughs> left to do but. This is the moment of truth. And I'm gonna tell y'all a secret. I hate cutting cake. I am not the best cake cutter, but I'm gonna try my best here. All right, this is the moment of truth right here. Ooh. Cooking and grilling with AB. <laughs> this is the caramel cinnamon Why crumble you doing cheesecake. All that, all? I'm digging in. Check it out. Cheers. Okay, folks, listen, we didn't clean up. I put everything back in the refrigerator. You know what I mean? I uh, even have the one that was inside of the refrigerator, uh, inside of the oven. I put that up. Listen, I'm not finna over talk it. This is my boy right here, Robert. Listen, he made outstanding cheesecakes, folks. I'm gonna let him go ahead and wrap it up because I don't want to over talk it. So tell them who you are, where they can find you and all of that. Okay, so my name is Robert and I am born and raised from New York City and I live in Dallas, Texas. You can follow me on Instagram at Robert's House of Cheesecakes. For anybody that lives in the DFW area, if you're interested, in a great tasting cheesecake that is an original that is better than juniors that is better than a cheesecake factory you need to hit me up hey. and i got references behind that i'm gonna hey i'm gonna just say it like this this guy mom. right here too that right there was fine listen i don't 
I got it. Everybody come on my channel. I say they make what they make, and that's great. But if I had to put anybody on the top of the the top of the whipped cream, right, that'd be you, partner. That right there was fire. Appreciate hey, so that. with that being said, listen, you see all this information, don't forget to read down in the description box below. I'm not going to do what I normally do. I'm going to do it, hit it like this. If you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and all of that. I see the people behind here. They waiting to chomp down. But guess what, folks? We out. Peace. Peace.